going to take this one right off the bat. Khabib Nurmagomedov against Edson Barboza at 155 pounds is really not a clear title challenger. Past Conor McGregor right now, he dismantled Eddie Alvarez, made light work of him. Doesn't look as if Nate Diaz is going to get a fair crack. Tony Ferguson just upset none other than Kevin Lee for the interim lightweight championship at 155 pounds. Conor's striking is eons beyond that of Tony Ferguson. Kevin Lee's athleticism might have given him a tough time, but right now it looks as if Tony's going to be taking on Conor for the undisputed lightweight championship. I think that the winner of this fight between Khabib and Edson is going to be the next one to get a crack. If history tells us anything, Edson Barboza is one of those guys who could beat anybody in the world outside of the top five. Unfortunately, Khabib is not one of those people. Every time Edson got himself put in a position to be the next in line for a title shot, he falls short. He is probably one of the top three technical strikers that the UFC has to offer. The only thing on his side right now is that Khabib has been relatively inactive for the last two calendar years. He had an unfortunate mistake with some tiramisu somewhere out there in Vegas a while back. You fight fans realize that. He was the next in line to fight Tony Ferguson for the interim lightweight title. Unfortunately, a couple of mishaps happened on the day of weigh-ins where he ate some tainted tiramisu. He was unable to make it there. USADA's been coming in through a vengeance, so a lot of those Russian fighters, I'm not saying they're on the juice, but I'm not saying they're not. They've been unable to perform to the level that they normally do. I'm going to go out on a limb right now. Michael Johnson was able to land a couple of strikes on Khabib. Michael Johnson is a great fighter. I don't think that he has anywhere near the level of striking that Edson does. This is Edson's last crack. He trains with American Top Team down in Coconut Creek, if I'm not mistaken. He's probably about 32 years old. I think that he's just crafty enough. I think he's seasoned enough. If he comes in and imposes his will to strike from range, look for him to take out the legs of Khabib Nurmagomedov. And if Khabib's legs are not there, he's not going to be able to ragdoll and take him down at will. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Edson might be spending a little bit of time on his back early on in the fight, but I'm going to go with my man, the veteran, the crafty Edson Barboza out of American Top Team to end this fight. It is a three-round fight, so that's actually going to play into the favor of Edson Barboza because Khabib's not going to have the opportunity to pin him down for five minutes at a clip for five rounds. Gun to my head, uh, you're one of my favorite commenters, Zim Khan, so what I'm going to tell you right now is look for Edson to beat him up in a lopsided decision, and if not, you're just going to see a knockout by attrition somewhere toward the middle or the end of the third round.